Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. My usernames are MCWare for you. I will link them in the description um, if you want to check out any of my things that I have for sale. <laughs> I am going to do a wrap with me video today. I like to do these every Monday and it's basically just weekend sales. So with no rhyme or reason, we're just going to tell you what sold and for how much. All right, so the first thing that sold was a bra. I saw bras on the weekly. I picked them up for $2.49 at my thrift stores. And um, not just any bra. They have to be certain bras that retail for over $50 tend to sell well. And sell well like $20 well. So this is a Chantel size 36. Um, trip, not triple, quadruple D. 36 quadruple D. Soft cut bra. And I sold it for $20. Dollars, and I'm gonna. I after um, posh fees, I profited sixteen dollars, so sixteen dollars, and I think I picked up like maybe six or seven of these last month, and so very easy to wrap, very easy to ship. Okay, so that was the first thing I sold. Going to Melbourne, Florida. How are your sales? If you are a reseller, because I'm assuming if you're not a reseller, you're not watching. So if you are a reseller and you are watching, comment below, subscribe, and let me know how your sales have been. My sales have been up and down and everywhere around. January and February are always best, um, best sales. I'm not sure exactly why, but this time of year, people do get their income tax checks but they also save them for summer vacations. So it's usually a lot sh um, slower. Next sale was a linen robe I picked up earlier this year. I had it for a hundred and someone offered me 65. It's just a linen, linen robe. Um, and if it was my size, I'd probably keep it because I really love robes and I can't imagine having a linen one, how easy breezy. So that is a light mint green linen robe, um, unbranded. And it sold for 65 and I profited 52 And did I say that both, both of these were Poshmark? Actually, all of them are Poshmark sales. There has been a, no eBay sales. So not sure what's up with that. So I am shipping the robe in a box. Okay. All right, let's hop into a couple jewelry sales because there's always jewelry sales. And they are my favorite, even though they are very hard to find. I have 3,000 pieces of jewelry located um, on the wall in front of me in little bins that look like little shoe bins. So I have them like this, and it's 1 through 55 and A through Z, and that holds 3,000 pieces of jewelry. So I sold two pairs of earrings, which I will post the pictures here for you to see. And um, they were, I sold them for 35, which left me a $28 profit. And they are going to Texas. My jewelry, I buy in bulk. I haven't bought any since last August of 2023. But my jewelry, I buy in bulk, closeouts and what have you. And um, I probably pay, it's so hard. Like these two pairs of earrings took a $35 offer, profited 28. Um, but I, I pay pennies to the cents on each because I'll get, I don't know, like maybe a hundred pairs for 20 to $25. And so basically storing them, I clean them, um, put them on little cards. Like there's, there's, there's a lot of prep regarding jewelry, which is a lot of people don't like vintage costume. Um, but I just don't mind it. Anyways, next was four pieces of jewelry. And I took a $60 offer, came to 120, I gave her 50% off, and I profited 48. Vintage little Avon star necklace or star bracelet, I think. Um, the other one I sealed, otherwise I would have showed you. Uh, earthbound brass type Easter string, brass earrings. Just vintage boho beaded acrylic. And again, vintage boho 
kind of coppery, coppery. So yeah, so just three pairs of earrings and one bracelet. Again, for 60, profiting 48, maybe paid 50 cents for them all. And so that is a very good profit. It's basically prep, you know, making them clean. And then of course I buy the brown cards, which are linked in my description if you are a jewelry seller or if you want to become a jewelry seller. If you want to become a jewelry seller, I would start with um, going to eBay, okay? So I don't sell any jewelry on eBay, but I have bought it there. So do earring lot or necklace lot, bracelet lot, whatever you're into. So go to the eBay search engine and do earring lot, um, bracelet lot, brooch lot, whatever you're into. And then narrow it down to filter it out, not narrow it down, filter it out to buy now lowest price. And that you could do on the um, right hand side of the search engine of eBay. So you're doing buy it now lowest price and then also condition not new because you're looking for vintage. Uh, I mean, you could buy new, but then it's usually just like cheap AliExpress stuff that I wouldn't want to sell. But if you do, that's fine. Um, and then you click uh, the little heart, which is like you're watching it and the seller gets notified that you're watching it and then they usually send a discount to you and you buy it for, you know, $25, $30 or if you're buying rhinestones or like more expensive, then it will be more expensive. Get it home, sanitize it with either jewelry cleaner or rubbing alcohol. Then you're taking pictures and you're putting them on Macari, Poshmark, you know, any, any, any site that you want to sell them at. Um, and that's it. You, you, you know, a little side hustle and just sell it. That's just extra money. That's kind of very easy to store. You don't have to have 3,000 pieces like me. But even if you just started, if you wanted to become a reseller part-time and you started with just a shoebox full of jewelry. Easy to store. It doesn't matter if you're living at home still or parents' basement or wherever. You know, wherever you are. If you don't, um, Efficiency. You do not need much room to start. Okay. Next. So that was the jewelry, and this is the last sale. I have one, two, three, four, four sale, one, two, three, four, fifth sale. So this was my, I think, one of the first times I've ever sold a clothing bundle, going to Illinois, and this clothing bundle came to $120, $120. Um, I mean, the, I took an offer of $120. I profited 88. So this was a very good deal. I wanted to get some things moved out, but, um, Let's see, one, two, three things for 88 is like $30 each, so it's not too good. But anyways, there's an Elaine Fisher linen sleeveless tunic. This retailed on their website for $139, and basically I got $30 for it. Okay, still happy, not that I'm complaining, but eh. Talbot's 100% wool sweater also retails for $119. So again, she got it for, you know, $30. $168 new at Anthrop uh, Anthropology um, Cashmere Wool Crossover Pink Sweater. So anyway, so she got three beautiful pieces, high quality. She'll probably have them in her wardrobe for years to come. And um, she got them for $120. I profited 80, 88 And so there you have it. I think I made a label mistake, so I'm not going to wrap that on camera because I want to make sure I did it. <laughs> anyway, so those were my sales two jewelry sales and um, the bra and the bathrobe and and these three piece sweater. So actually two, two, four, yeah, five. So anyways, that's it for this weekend. Kind of slow, but we'll see. Um, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.